Now for the success of the first bow shock. Um, next question is, is the sequel good? Uh, can it take what the first one had and deliver something fan uh, fantastic? Uh, the answer would be that yes. Um, Bioshock 2, uh, which came out in 2010, is pretty much um, a great game. A great game. I don't think it's better than the first one. I will I'll explain to you why. Um, also, in my last video, I seen, uh, I was reviewing it, looking at it a whole bunch. Uh, so many times. Um, I realized I left out some very, very um, important information, which I want to make, which I want to um, put in this one, put in this video. Uh, I'm also talking um, low because it's like 12:30 in the morning, and my people, well, <laughs> my family sleeping. So I'm trying to keep it low. Um, first Bioshock, um, first uh, Bioshock Two takes place ten, um, ten years after the first Bioshock. Um, I like I said, I didn't really explain that much about it. Um, but the place, the Bioshock Two place, um, the place that um, Bioshock took uh, place in. It's called Rapture. Um, like I said, it's 10 years after the first one. Andrew Ryan died, uh, and everything's just falling apart. So you play as an old, old big daddy. A big daddy is a, it's a big, uh, big monster with a tank and a drill looking thing. This thing right here. Uh, is mostly of a guardian for a creature called Little Sister, right here. It's kind of funny to call it Little Sister because they do like a little child. <laughs> um, and the main thing is the Little Sister uh, collects this thing called Adam, which is like uh, the power that runs down a rapture from dead corpses. Uh, without Adam, uh, people down there would die. So everybody needs it. That's when um, people will fight little sisters if the big daddy, which is the guardian, won't is not protecting her, protect her because they need that Adam to live. It's pretty much survival of the fittest. To get the little sister, you got to get through the big daddy, <laughs> and good luck with that. Um, so like I said, you're a big daddy, old big daddy, ten years after what happened the first one. Uh, your little sister get taken by um, by this greedy, greedy old woman that used to work with Andrew Ryan. I can't remember the name. Lamb, Lamb, Lady Lamb. That's what they call her. Now, if you seen this girl, you seen this woman, you would just know she looked like a lamb, or something was wrong with her. So, most journey, your whole journey is to uh, find your little sister, bring her back, and. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, uh, the gameplay, um, like is the same as the first one. You got like use your plazits on left hand, electricity, fire, uh, ice, right hand weapon, machine gun, crossbows, pistols. You also have a new drill, which is pretty good. Um, uh, and um, a whole a whole different I mean, weapons. I'm not really gonna talk about that. The one thing I'm gonna talk about is the dual weaponry. You could have both of them out, the plasma and the weapon. So that's just like badass right there. You don't have to take it on. You have to switch out or nothing. You just electricity right there. You run electricity. Charge electricity in your left hand while you fighting with a pistol. How uh, insane is that? Uh, most deadly, uh, you can do some deadly combinations of that. I'm sure you can. Um, another thing I need to talk about in the first one is uh, um, 
to Little Sister. Uh, when you in the first one, uh, when you find Little Sisters, uh, you find Little Sisters and a Big Daddy. You have to fight the Big Daddy, and these things are like the bosses in there. But these things are tough to fight in the beginning. If they get eventually they get easier, but there's different types of Big Daddies. One bag, one Big Daddy might have a drill. Another one might have a a weapon that shoots out explosives, uh, grenades, you name it, man. You name it. Um, they're a challenge. And after you beat them, you can either harvest the little girl, which is mostly killing her, but you get all the atom up, and uh, you can um, pretty much free her, which, um, which uh, you can turn her back to a normal girl, because these girls are not normal. I'm telling you, these girls are not normal. Uh, they look like something off of a horror movie, I'll tell you that. Um, and you get half of the atom. But there's a trick to this. When you free them and not harvest them, there's a, uh, there's a lady, I can't remember the name, there's a lady that's taking care of these girls, and she will reward you. So just do it. I mean, you get, um, you get a lot of uh, perks and boosters that boost up your character and it's uh it's effective you just just do it um what else i want to say um uh, and also um this this is about the second one too uh you can um uh, i think i talk about the hacking a little bit but i'm going to go a little more detail when you hack a um, when you hack in the first one, you just um, use pipes. This is like a little, I say a little green arrow, and it goes through these pipes. And you got to fix the pipes to go from one one um, beginning of the pipe to the end to get through. And um, you pretty, sh I think I already explained how the security works. If it's like a turret, if one, uh, it works for you if you hack it. Uh, enemy come past it, uh, it fires at it and dies. Same thing as a security camera. Uh, security camera finds it, finds out uh, your enemy walking through the spotlight, uh, gets spots out and start firing at it. Um, uh, and Trying to see what I'm trying to um, trying to see. I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to um, think of anything I'm left out. Um, also, when I'm talking about the harvest and stuff like that, for the second one, you can also adopt a girl. Um, you adopt her, you put her on your shoulder, and you find you go to the corpse. Like I said, you go to the corpse. Um, uh, a little sister. Um, what they do is they get like a big needle, put it in the corpse and get the blood out well an atom <laughs> so what you do is you bring it to a dead corpse put her on there let her stick the needle in the corpse um and then what you do is it's a fun mini game is these splicers like these little zombie creatures like i said come out of nowhere and just start trying to attack her and the thing is you have to defend her i like that a lot um i like that a lot it's just most like a defend game and after that, she gets the atom, and all the atoms she gets become to you. Uh, I think you can go up to like two different corpses for each level, each little sister you get. After that, you get to take her home. And yeah, that's it. I think it's a pretty fun way to enjoy it. Um, also, the security in the second one is a little bit more easier. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I talk about everything else. Um, I think uh, I think that was pretty much it. Oh, and there's a new boss in there too. It's called Big Sister, which watches the little sisters. Now the thing is, it's the same thing as a Big Daddy, but it's a little sister, and they're a little more tougher, and they're faster, and they be vanishing. They be vanishing in the air, stuff like that. But yeah, and um, yeah, I think it's pretty much it. Um, there's a camera. Which um, you take pictures of different enemies, and like say you shock an enemy, take a picture, 
shoot an enemy, take a picture. It adds up, and you learn the different ability to learn how they react. So then you like say you shoot, uh, do um, take a picture of a whole bunch of Douglas slicers. Um, thing is, um, it showed it will show that we that they show that they're um, vulnerable to different bullets. So you can use that to your advantage. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. They have an online feature here, which is pretty, pretty good. It's not as much competitive like Call of Duty or Battlefield, but it's, like I said, it's a pretty good game. There's pretty good gameplay in there. Um, I, don't, I doubt many people play today, but if you pick this game up, um, I'm sure you find some people in there. I mean, it's uh, it's mostly, Bioshock is mostly about single player, but the multiplayer they did in there is pretty good. So, yeah. Um... One more thing. Uh, one uh, the reason why I say the first Battle Shock is better than the second Battle Shock because the first Battle Shock is has Andrew Ryan. That's like the ultimate villain to me in the whole Battle Shock series. The landlady, yeah, she was all right, but the first one, it has you know your character. You get to know your character a lot more. I'm not really gonna spoil nothing, but yeah, the second one is pretty much just go to point A to point B. It's pretty. It's still fun. It's still fun, but one, um, Bioshock 1, I think, has a more deeper story to it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a, a lot of deep story to it. Um, well, that's be that's my that's the end of my video. Uh, I'm getting tired right now, you see me stuttering. Um, um comment below if see, um, comment below, uh, what you think about Bioshock 2. You think Bioshock 2 is better than Bioshock 1? Or you think Bioshock 1 is better than Bioshock 2? And if you're a big Bioshock fan, uh, what, are your, um, what are your impressions of the Bioshock Infinite is coming next year? I'm definitely getting it day, probably day one. I'm going to do an unboxing. Um, I'm a big Bioshock fan, like you can tell. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, just let me know what y'all think. Is uh yeah let me yeah just let me know what you think um it's KCV three and have a wonderful morning people.